Alright, so I'm going to talk about code switching in the United States, what it is and how it works. And um, I'm also going to talk a bit about Toolman's model of argumentation. And I'll try to connect it with arguments from an article by Eric Deggins, as you see on the left. Alright, I'll just stick right into it. So, code switching. In linguistics, code switching or language alternation, as it is, it is also called, um, occurs when a speaker alternates between two or more languages or language varieties in the context of a single conversation. Code switching is often also a switch in not only use of language, but also attitude and even one's whole personality. For example, in The Hate You Give, Star is a different person when at home versus when she's at Williamson High, not only linguistically, but also personality-wise. And uh, here we can also see that Snoop Dogg clearly has mastered the ability of code switching. And now, to the Toulmin model of argumentation. The Toulmin model of argumentation is for understanding and analyzing arguments. Um, it breaks down the argument, argument into three essential parts. First, the claim. Uh, the claim is the main point you hope to put forth in your argument and is ultimately what you uh, strive to convince your counter counterpart to agree with. Second is the data. The data is what you use to support and back up your claim. This is so to say the locus appeal of your argument. And at last we have the warrant. The warrant helps us draw connections between the claim and the data. And it's, and it's uh, often more or less uh, just like a moral assumption of common sense. Here is an example from Eric Dickens' article, Learning How to Code Switch, Humbling but Necessary. The claim here is, um, you should learn to code switch as early as possible. Um, and to support the claim, the data is, Eric Dickens, a man who experienced code switching his whole life, says that a small culture is giant America's melting pot. Uh, that's code. That's why code switching remains so valuable. Um, Eric's real life experience is here used as both ethos and locus appeal. The ro the warrant um, to this argument is. Learning something this valuable will result in people getting better quality of life from mastering this skill. This is not a complete argument. Here is an example from um, The Hate You Give. The claim here is that Star uses code switching to sound more respectable when speaking in front of a jury or police officers. Um, um, which is supported by the data saying that Star speaks in a more proper language when around these authorities and says herself that she's obligated to do so. Otherwise, people will think um, she's a thug from the ghetto. And, um, and so the warrant is uh, sounding like a thug from the ghetto is less respectable than sounding like the proper star in the eyes of a jury or police officers. Um, and uh, as I said previously, the warrant draws connections uh, between the claim and the data, as we can see. Um, and in today's modern society, code switching has evolved into becoming more than just an alternate use of language. It has also uh, now become a switch in appearance as well as attitude. It's difficult but necessary. It's a difficult but necessary ability for many American people. Thank you for watching this video and have a very nice day.